Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gwen and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing my updated straight natural hair routine. If you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, be sure to turn on all your notifications and check the description box for my natural hair coaching program, as well as links to all the products I mentioned in this video. All right, let's get started. Starting with freshly washed hair, I'm going to create sections and prepare to blow dry. First, I'm going to apply the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Refreshing Spray. Then I'm going to apply the So Naturally Scalp Oil. This is an oil recipe that I created myself. I apply it to my scalp and the length of my hair. Lastly, I'm going to apply some heat protectant. This is the Chi Iron Guard. Now that the hair is ready, I'm going to blow dry my hair. This is a blow dryer stand that I got from Amazon and it's been really helpful for me. After I set it up, I take a small section and run it under the blow dryer using the tension method. You basically stretch out your curl pattern with your hands. This gets the blow drying process started and it's a lot more gentle on your hair than trying to work through any of your curl pattern with a comb or a brush. Once my hair is a bit stretched out using my fingers, I will go in with a paddle brush. It helps to stretch and separate the hair even more. Then I'll move on to using a round brush to get my roots. While you watch me, I'd like to review some important things for wash day. First, definitely shampoo your hair rather than co-washing. Your hair will flow much better and you'll likely have less buildup and itchy scalp. Also, use a moisturizing deep conditioner alongside a protein treatment. This will prevent your hair from drying out during the blow drying process and also help give your hair some extra strength due to the manipulation. Lastly, I recommend keeping your ends trimmed and your hair detangled as much as possible to avoid knots. Okay, so now that my hair is fully blow dried, I'm going to move on to straightening my hair. So I like to use the chase method when straightening my hair, meaning I use a comb to separate the hair while I straighten it. I do two passes and I also make sure I use heat protectant beforehand. I use my Chi straightener and this is the highest setting I believe. So I want to warn you that when I do this process, my hair does look greasy. Don't be afraid from this. This will calm down after a few days. And I really felt like this makes a difference when I straighten and blow dry my hair. A lot of times I would be worried about my hair looking too greasy, but my hair would dry out quicker. Okay, so my hair is finally done. So I pin curl my hair at night, so that's what I did next. Be sure to check out my nighttime hair routine to see how I do that process. And this is the next morning, so I don't know what happened. I think I got some crinkles, but it's okay. I just went through my day just to see how the hair progressed. I didn't want to put heat on it right away. So this is how my hair looks by the end of the day. I did have to touch it up with the flat iron, but as you can see, my hair is still greasy, but it's starting to absorb just a little bit.
and this is day three hair. All right, you guys, this has been my updated straight natural hair routine. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the process. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also be sure to turn on all your notifications and check out the description box for my natural hair coaching program, as well as all of the links to the products that I mentioned in this video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.